the final. And it was left to Transvaal and Northern Transvaal to battle it out at Ellis Park. This was regarded by many as the greatest final of the 80s. packed to capacity all tickets were sold out on Wednesday for this game 68,000 people John Robbie under pressure well, but Robin Barnhorton's Barnhorst and good position for Transvaal out to Scott Nobier and that's not a bad up and under it's going to be accepted outside his 22 by Robler he can't mark and he's have an us Michael Dublisi and Hempers Rodemeyer is going to score. He will score. Hempers Rodemeyer. With the rain coming down now, Hempers Rodemeyer, after an opportunist bit of work by Hiefer van Seil, Hiefer van Us rather, here it is again. Watch this a very good up and under because it did not carry as far as the 22, so no one receiving it could call for a mark. Hempers Grobler making the mistake. Hiefer van Us, a good pass to Michael Dublisi. And there's Hempas Rademeyer going for his 10th try of the season, chased by Hippinel all the way. Because although the, the top surface is very wet and slippery, underneath it's firm, and the ball could bounce any direction. Good line-up position. Out to Nasbutter, left foot a drop goal attempt, and it's there. Three points to Nasbutter, three points to Northern Transvaal. A drop goal. Here we go again. Well, look at the composure of this man with a, a wet ball. Nobody near him. They were yards away from him. And with the left foot. So nine points to three. There you have it. 29 minutes gone in the first half. Come through. The scrum about 10 meters outside the Transvaal 22 and Transvaal and Northern's backs lining absolutely shallow. They're going to go flat out from the Transvaal backs if they try to spin the ball. Robbie hoping to catch him offside. Danny Britt making it into Channel 3 ball for him. And Michael Dibrissi back to Van Us out there to Kirkham. Out to Carlo Dibrissi. Now he's got Jonas to beat. Nice word of covering as well. And Carlo Dibrissi going great runs for it. And he's took. Oh, he slipped. Carlo Dibrissi slipped. And he didn't quite go it down. And the Transvaal has got it. Scott I think, getting it, and converted by Kirkham. Well, I tell you, that was the most interesting try. Everybody was running, and it just shows you what happens with the slippery ground. Let's watch it again. There's Kirkham with it, and Cardinal Duplessis. Now, watch this clever kick ahead. Kerbron Probler challenging, and Cardinal Duplessis' speed getting him through and kicking it cleverly inside, and they're even slipping. And Kerbron Probler kicking it back and Scott Nordier following up diving on it and clearly getting the try. Nomlik nie so baie Renes Williamson wat kry naast Bota. Hy kom na Iskerf skop poging. Hierdie keer is hy daar. Naast Bota is het tweede skerf skop poging is tussen die pale deur. En Noord Transvaalse telling skyf aan na 9. And of course the Kikuyu coming through now with the summer rains and the bench starting to die away. That's nice weather. And uh, up and under, that's a difficult one. Northern's going to get up there. Kirkham will get man, man and ball. Danny Pretoria is trying to get underneath it. Don Baden horse is in, but it's going to come back. Lamprecht doing good work. And uh, Willie Schmidt slipping. Out it goes to Nars and he's looking for a drop goal. He's slipping and sliding all over the place. And a penalty, a penalty given to Northern Transvaal in an absolute gift position. Bang in front of the post. The crowd don't like it. But the referee right on the spot, and he has said that the Northern, the Transvaal players were in front. Remember, they don't have to be in front of the ball as long as they're in front of that last line of feet. They're offside, and so here is an opportunity for Nasbuerta to level the scores. Transvaal have had tries by Radomir and Nordia, both converted by Kirkham, and a, and a penalty by Kirkham. Nas has kicked two drops and two penalties. Is it three penalties? Yes, it is. The scores are level. So 15 all the score, 30 minutes gone, 10 minutes left in this match, and Kirkham looks at it, a good one. 18 points to 15. And Transvaal leading by two goals and two penalties to Northern Transvaal's two drop goals and three penalties. Scott will be getting his fours well behind him. And that's a good hanging kick. Up goes Andres Kinder and Bardenhorst. 
I think Adolf Milan took it very well there. Out to Nasberta. And Nasberta, another drop goal attempt. And wait for it. It looks good. It looks beautiful. It's there. Nasberta, his third drop goal. And uh, the scores are level again. And I must compliment Mr. Fred Berger. He's handled this game very well indeed. Been a very clean game. Hard, uncompromising stuff. Good rugby. And waiting for advantage. Referee waiting. Here's Nas. That's good refereeing again. Here it goes over. And it's over. 21 points to 18. And Nas Buerta's fourth drop goal. So it's Buerta 21 points. Transvaal 18. We'll have no real... Wish to hurry here. You know, these three points will be the final nail in Transvaal's coffin and he hit it beautifully right through the post and there is great scenes of joy and the magic of Nas Buerta took the cup back to Pretoria